Are you looking for a ridiculously comprehensive and brutally honest drive time review? If yeah, you are at the right spot. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Story Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. If you are doing as majestic as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. In today's conversation, I will be speaking to you about drive time. Is it legit, a scam, or one of the best car dealerships? The thing is, purchasing a car can be an exciting process, but if you don't find the right seller that will work with you and answer all of your questions, guess what? This thing, the process can quickly become stressful and confusing. If you are in the market to buy a car, it makes sense that you partner with the right dealership. For those who want to buy a used car, Drive Time offers quick approval, a large inventory, and best of all, no strict credit requirements. In today's review, I'll help you determine whether or not Drive Time vehicles are right for you, answering questions like, what is Drive Time? How does Drive Time work? Does drive time take trade-ins? How much do you have to put down at drive time? How does drive time financing work? What are drive time reviews and user ratings? Is drive time legit? Are drive time vehicles worth it? How responsive is drive time's customer service? And so on and so forth. So you can see that this is ridiculously comprehensive. Let's first start with the drive time. Let's, let me give you a synopsis of the company. Drive Time Automotive Group is based in Tempe, Arizona, and they are one of the largest used car dealership network and automobile finance companies in the United States. The company has over 160, 160 dealerships in 30 U.S. states, more than 3,000 employees, and they have sold more than 1 million vehicles. Think about that. That's fantastic. So as the nation's second largest vehicle retailer focused solely on used vehicles, Drive Time has provided financing to over 1 million people across the nation, specializing in helping customers find both the vehicle and the financing that best fit their needs. So Drive Time's exclusive and nearly limitless options help the full range of customers get financed. So in our research, we have found that getting financed and buying a used car at Drive Time is fast, easy, and convenient, with benefits like quick online financing terms, no haggle pricing, and a pressure-free process. And you can shop thousands of competitively priced vehicles for a car, truck, van, or SUV. So we're putting on the screen right now the contact of uh, Drive Time, their phone number, their toll-free, their address, and their email address. And it's important to remember that perhaps the biggest differentiator between Drive Time and other dealerships is that Drive Time uses a buy here, pay here structure. And there are a few key aspects, the key aspects to this business structure, including all auto financing is done in-house and all credit scores are considered, including no credit history. So for car buyers who have had issues with credit histories in the past, drive time used car used cars offer a unique accessibility that other dealerships often cannot offer. So next question is, how does drive time work? So the salespeople at uh, drive time are salaried employees, relieving pressure on their part to make a sale. Rather, they are focused on providing customers with the most useful information possible. And the drive time website has a wealth of resources on credit scores, auto financing, and personal savings goal. And we love that. That was really great when we were doing research for the for this show. And you can actually search for the nearest drive time location on their website to view cars in person. And if you are in the market to purchase a used car, drive time vehicles are available to view online with information on mileage, things like features, safety ratings, and Kelly Blue Book pricing. And uh, we actually found that um, we uh, we found that uh, drive time works by offering additional features like uh, they have online approval for drive time car sales in two minutes or less. This is pretty good. This is really good. And if you are in the market for that, you might want to take advantage of uh, that uh, online approval. 
They also have customized down payments. Remember, they actually take care of the auto financing aspect of things also. So they will be working with you to actually provide bespoke down a bespoke down payment schedule that will fit your budget. They have uh, what we love. They have a 45 day vehicle holds. That's pretty good. So if you find a vehicle that you like, they will hold it for you for 45 days and uh, they have delivery to the closest dealership in your state. So again, this is a, a player that operates in 50 states. So if you find, let's say, a car that you like on online, they will actually uh, deliver the, the car to the closest dealership. All right, this is very cool. And you have multi-point inspection process. We kind of like that also. And one of the cool thing about uh, one of the cool things about the drive time offer is that they have a 30-day warranty at no additional cost. Something that not a lot of uh, BHPH, the buy here, pay here uh, players offer. So the 30-day warranty is pretty cool. And you have the option to return your vehicle within five days of purchase. So if you buy a car and you just realize that you made a mistake or you change your mind or your family member or your wife or your, your husband doesn't like the car, whatever happens, you have five days. And this is well and to return the car. And all you have to do is to drive the car back to the dealership where you picked it up at. That's all you have to do. Nothing else. And um, drive time also offers free a uh, free auto check history report. So you're able to see the history of the vehicle, whatever whatever happens to uh, to it, if it has been in accidents in the past, or whatever whatever happens, you can see that through a thorough auto check credit history. Uh, auto check history. Let me talk to you now about does drive time take trading? So if you want to apply the value of your current car towards uh, a new car, drive time automotive dealerships do accept tradings. In fact, customer tradings are one of the primary ways that the, that the dealership obtains the used vehicles in the first place. So the dealership can provide a price valuation on the spot from a third party, providing a convenient way to decrease the cost of drive time used cars. And um, how much do you have to put down at drive time? Because uh, this is uh, the elephant in the room. This is an important question. A lot of people are asking that question. The amount that you have to put down for drive time used cars basically varies. It really varies. And it varies based on your unique situation the specific vehicle that you purchase and uh, the regulations in your area. So the company, we actually see, we saw this, and we're gonna put this on the screen. So Draft Time, they have a policy on their website that says, unlike the majority of buy here, pay here dealerships, we don't have the same down payments for everyone. We customized our down payments per vehicle and per customer. Our unique feature the, the, the one unique feature that drive time offers is their 45 day reservation policy where car buyers can reserve their car and get a little extra time to get the down payment together. So this is this is pretty cool. The, the bespoke down payment schedule is pretty nice. How does drive time financing work? The thing here is that the thing to understand is that all financing for a drive time purchase is done in house and they are open to accepting any credit score from poor to stellar, including no credit at all. And drive time down payments will vary based on the price of the vehicle and the customer's financial situation. And the 45 day, uh, the 45 day hold on vehicles allows customers time to gather their down payment before officially paying for the car. And uh, let me give you other features that you might like in terms of the financing at uh, drive time. So general features include two minute online approval all you have to do is enter some basic information and in a few minutes you will know whether or not you've been approved for a drive time financing and you have free auto check vehicle history reports and you have a rigorous ins inspection process so every drive time vehicle undergoes a strict in inspection to ensure it is in good working condition you have a five-day return policy that all this all these features are in the package once you get approved for financing okay so uh, you have a vehicle delivery. So if you find a vehicle that you like at drive time location that is not the one nearest to you, drive time can ship it to your to a closer location. You also have a complimentary 30 day, 1500 mile warranty. So this warranty will help keep you, it will, it will actually help you uh, be covered in case of an, an un unexpected breakdown or let's say another malfunction of the vehicle. And you also have a range of options for down payments. 
So again, this is the bespoke uh, down payments uh, situation I was speaking about earlier. I'll be right back. Right after this, don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Suri Kiwi Show. I'm still giving you uh, a very thorough and very honest review of uh, draft time. And uh, basically, one thing I want to say is that um, draft time is definitely a buy here, pay here option. Okay. And uh, they also have a system called Draft Time Select and also called the Draft Time Champ Program. Draft Time Select rewards customers for paying off their auto loan balances. And um, of course, they, they take bad credit people, they do take trading. And, uh, but one thing you have to remember also is that on all drive time cars, there, there is a GPS. Drive time uses GPS to keep track of a vehicle's location. All right. And you can actually, and what are drive time uh, reviews and user ratings? Now, drive time auto sales uh, sounds like a simple and affordable process. But how do you know that this dealership is really the best place to get a used car? So before you actually commit to uh, one of Drive Time's used car, you may want to take a look at Drive Time's reviews to see whether or not past customers would highly recommend Drive Time or whether they would uh, tell you to steer clear, right? So we went on two, two websites. We went on Trustpilot and we went on the Triple B, the Better Business Bureau. Let's first... so. As of the date of this show, there were nearly 20,000 drive time reviews on Trustpilot, giving drive time automotive sales an overall average rating of um, 4.3 out of 5 stars. So with 77% of drive time reviewers giving the, companies, the company a full 5 star rating, and Trustpilot has given them a trust score of 8.8 .8 over 10. This is pretty high. So many satisfied Drive time reviewers state that purchasing a used car through the dealership was the best car buying experience they had ever had, expressing that the process was convenient and stress free. So, and this is what we have seen also in our in our uh, experience. By and large, the most common point of praise from drive time reviewers on Trustpilot is the exceptional customer service they received from drive time automotive employees. And the reviewers state that uh, the car salesman was honest, courteous willing to answer all questions and most importantly not pushy or looking to take advantage of them and uh, but we also have seen some negative reviews though for example one drive time reviewer stated that do not waste your time they sold me a car that doesn't work go anywhere else they do not uh, care the customer service sucks we are putting right now on the screen the, a copy a snapshot of uh, that review another reviewer stated that vehicles are not certified or pre-inspected all risk is on you and this company will not help with any repairs and so on and so forth. We put on, we put it again on the screen here on the a snapshot of that negative review. There were also a significant number of drive time reviewers that complained about receiving a lower down payments quote and they received a lower down payment quote online than in person saying that, saying that the company is misleading people who need help. So in response Drive time explains that final approval and down payment options are subject to change based on physical documentation provided to the dealership, as well as the specs of the selected vehicle. And other complaints come from car buyers who try to return their vehicle outside of the 30 day warranty or trade their car before the required three year period was up. So, and I want to actually acquaint you with the uh, some reviews we have seen, some draft time reviews we have seen at uh, the Better Business Bureau. So besides Trustpilot, we also went and looked into uh, what, was, what was happening on the Triple B in terms of a draft time review. So there are over 2,500 draft time reviews on the Better Business Bureau as of uh, today's date, with 91% of reviewers giving positive reviews. And common elements among positive draft time reviews include things like excellent customer service, you have a stress-free, time-efficient process, knowledgeable employees, and you have a convenient return process. Although there are a large um, number of positive drive time reviews on the Triple B, when researching this company, we found a significant number of complaints filed against the company. In total, 952 complaints have been filed since 2012, with the majority of these complaints referring to issues with the products or service. Now, one thing I, I want to put this in context, folks. If you have, uh, let's say, 
you have closed more than 1 million transactions and you have uh, 1,000 of those transactions that went, I don't know, a little crazy. People don't like the service, blah, blah, blah. It is, it, this is a great, great ratio because this is 0.1%. This is one tenth of a percent. So 1,000 complaints versus 1 million transactions. So I'm just trying to, I, I just want to put this in, in perspective so that you understand that not everything is rosy. So you have all the information you need before making a decision. Okay. Many drive time reviewers describe purchasing cars with a significant, I'm, I'm just continuing on the, the negative aspect of things here. And people have said the negative uh, drive time reviewers described purchasing, not negative reviewers, people, the reviewers who posted criticism, critical feedback, let's just call it that way. So those people describe purchasing cars with significant repair issues often resulting in serious safety concerns while driving and complaints on uh, drive time vehicles include headlights malfunctioning, being sold a car with two different VIN numbers, damage due to prior undisclosed accidents, extensive wear resulting in uh, total loss, ads stating the incorrect mileage, and a large number of repairs needed within a short period of time. And although many of these complaints have since been resolved to the customer's satisfaction, in some cases refunding the entire amount of the car or forgiving the remaining balance, the frequency of these complaints may warrant additional consideration before purchasing drive time used cars. And one thing I want to say quickly here is that um, one triple B drive time reviewer states that it's a scam. I was approved online with a $95 down payment, but spent 65 minutes just trying to get a salesperson. Finally, I left called. I left called. They were willing to get it right this time. So, um, and we're just showing you a snapshot of that review on the on the screen right now. So, having given you the pros and cons and all the positive and, and the negative feedback here, is drive time legit? Is it a scam? Is it legit? Is it an awesome um, car dealership? Is it legit? For used car buyers with less than perfect credit, drive time vehicles sound, sound like the perfect solution to the street credit requirements set by other dealerships. And But is drive time legit? Can you trust drive time automotive dealerships? When researching the, the company, we found that yes, drive time is definitely legit with company headquarters based in Tempe, Arizona. Drive time has been registered with the Better Business Bureau with, since 2012 and currently has an A rating. Furthermore, based on drive time reviews, the dealership has built a strong foundation of consumer trust, selling over a million vehicles across the country. The vast majority of car buyers applaud drive time for their customer service, transparency, and accessibility, representing thousands of positive experiences with drive time used cars. And are drive time vehicles worth it? That's a good question. That's the that's the one million dollar question, really. For many car buyers, according to our research, purchasing a car comes with numerous barriers, including price, down payment amount, and credit history. So that drive time automotive sales offer a unique access that many dealerships cannot match, helping those who might not be able to purchase a car otherwise. Based on positive drive time reviews, there are thousands of satisfied customers that will strongly recommend considering drive time used cars. Many people have had overwhel overwhelmingly positive experiences with uh, the dealership, not just for affordable pricing, but also for the overall professionalism and transparency offered by the staff. Okay. However, in our review, we did find there were a few criticism and I shared them with you before. So it's all about you. It's whether or not you should go with uh, drive time in terms of uh, your next used vehicle. It will depends on you. Should you consider drive time vehicles for your next used car purchase? If you have less than perfect credit and you are in the market for a used car, thousands of satisfied customers say that drive time is worth a try. Okay. So however, Based on the sheer number of uh, complaints regarding overall safety and repairs, we encourage you to use the same precaution that you would when buying any used car. So no matter what car you end up driving off the lot, bringing it if you bring it to a mechanic, you can find out more because you want to ensure that, that the vehicle you purchase fits 
your long-term expectations. So you want a mechanic, you want to have a professional set of eyes, take a second look at it. All right, so how responsive is Drive Time's customer service? In our view, and this is we've seen this time and again during our research, Drive Time has an excellent client service, really. They have done a, a great job at making sure that the customers are placed number one. The customers are becoming the priority, are the priority. And uh, as I said at the beginning of this show, Drive Time uh, staff members, they're not salespeople. They are, they are fully engaged. They are fully committed to improving the customer experience. And users have several ways to interact with a company and learn about its products and services. So they can call I gave you before the the 1-800 number, they can call the company, they can email the company, they can actually look into the FAQ section on the website, very informative. They can actually read blog, the, the, they can read a blog articles on the company website. That's fantastic. And one thing we really love during um, our research is that Drive Time has had the great idea of creating something called an advice center. That's brilliant. That's awesome. And this is something we have we have never seen in our research that in addition to FAQ blog articles, they even have they have an advice center. And we are living right now on the screen here. The link to that advice center, if you want to read more about uh, if you want to learn more about uh, drive time and uh, this advice center helps you reach all kinds of goals, actually. So if you want if you have a credit score, smarts goals auto finance and loans goals, personal finance and savings goals, used car buying advice goals, tax time goals, auto insurance goals, auto maintenance goals, on the road goals and career tips goals. Think about that. Here we have a used car dealership or a network of used car dealerships that's just trying to give you advice on on, um, career or tax that's fantastic in other words they are providing to you an all-in service this is a comprehensive service not just the, they're not just the, they're not just a feeling fantastic to sell you a car just to sell you a car you can drive up you can drive off the lot and they make their money everything is fine no they are going a little further they are making sure that you are fine financially that you are fine in terms of your financial education that you understand the pros and cons of having a car, how to maintain a car, how to actually, what are the, the fiscal implications, what are the tax implications of uh, car ownership. So they're really giving you the whole gamut here. So the bottom line here is that uh, drive time is a great option. Great option for people who have either no credit or less than optimal credit. And drive time has uh, more than just a wide area of used cars at fair prices. Additional features like a 30-day warranty and a, a 45-day vehicle hold make it a solid choices a solid choice for your next vehicle purchase. All right, folks, this is it for today's conversation. I want to thank you for uh, being with me during this drive time uh, comprehensive review and honestly and brutal, brutal, brutally, <laughs> brutally honest uh, review. <laughs> and we've actually answered questions like, what is drive time? How does drive time work? Does drive time take tradings? How much do you have to put down at drive time? How does drive time financing work? What are drive times reviews and user ratings? Is drive time legit or drive time uh, vehicles worth it? How responsive is drive time's customer service? and so on and so forth. Thank you so much for your attention. I will speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.